Hi, I'm David Lee. Welcome again to another episode of Culinary Capers. I'm in the kitchen today, and if you follow my shows, you'll know that I love to learn recipes from other people. So today, I'm going to do two things. Number one, learn to cook something I really love, which is pancakes. And I've invited my good friend, Bart Sharp, and he's my good fishing buddy too, to show me how to make his world famous sweet potato pancakes. Oh, so yes. Bart, welcome to the kitchen. Thank Glad you, David. you're here. Thank you, David. Teach me how to do this, will you? Yeah, it's uh, we're at David Lee's uh, cooking show, and of course the sun just came up, and we're going to prepare some breakfast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So today was sweet potato pancakes, and I've been a pancake fan myself for a long time, and uh, I do pancakes with everything from oatmeal to sweet potatoes, regular potatoes, you know, uh, blueberries. I, right. I love them all. <clears throat> Cornmeal. So today with sweet potato pancakes, uh, a couple things that I figured out over time is it, a lot of times you go to the grocery store and the sweet potatoes are about the size of footballs. Yeah. And so you bake a sweet potato and when you take it out of the oven, when you put it on your plate for dinner, just take your knife and put that much aside for another time. And this will be plenty for dinner, okay? And so today, to start out with here, we're gonna take a little sweet potato. And I usually, um, I've, you were, mentioned recipes a few times, and yep, I yep. don't really use a recipe. <laughs> it's kind of an eyeball thing. You okay. Know? <laughs> so uh, what we're gonna do then, let's say that we'll call this about a quarter cup worth of uh, sweet potato maybe then, okay? Okay. And uh, so then I'll take it and put a little, uh, I like to use a little warm water. Uh, and I, and I guess, and I don't measure anything when I'm doing this, but uh, we'll call that about a cup of water probably. You know, uh, you look at your pancake box and uh, it's going to say use one cup of water and it's going to make yeah, so many yeah. pancakes and that kind of stuff. So we'll just call it about that. And I just go ahead and mush it up and stir it up. And a nice thing <clears> about <throat> sweet potatoes, they have that texture of, a, of a softer than say a white potato, a baked potato. And so it, you can see it just dissolves really well in the, into the water uh, and just makes a nice uh, thicker soup kind of. Yep, yep. And that'll do fine uh, for adding our pancake mix to. Gotcha. So this is just about a cup. It's about a cup now turned out. Through. Okay. Yeah. Without think, me looking so. at the numbers, I, you look well, at I, the numbers and I I'm glad. I think so. <laughs> okay, that's good. Then, then we have some idea where we are. So again, I never measure, I just pour some in. We can always add more water because it's too thick, I always say. So we'll give it a little pancake mix there and just give that a I swirl like your style. see here. how this works out. Okay, yes, it's gonna be a little thick, but that's good. I like to get that uh, in there. And then, of course, as recipes go, think back to when we were kids making our own pancakes. And you had to add eggs and oil and all that kind of jig and roof. Woo, man. Right. This complete pancake mix these days is the ticket. With potato pancakes, there's no light and fluffy. But to me, okay. these pancakes have the texture that you like in your mouth. You, okay. can, you can run it around with your tongue. Well. And they're, they're the, the texture of that with the flavor of sweet potatoes in a pancake is just unbeatable. I've never had it before, so I hope there's enough for both of us here. We're going to get at least, okay, now this is, I predict, we'll get two nice size pancakes in a, in a 10 inch pan. So it's just, it's just enough so it'll pour. Yes, it will pour. Yeah. That's correct. So, That's why I use the little, this container here, it's a little pitcher actually, and uh, so yeah, it doesn't matter, just pour it in the pan. It looks like we have a hot pan here ready to go, so that when you pour it in, it's going to do a little bit of sizzle. And uh, one thing is even on the uh, new complete pancake boxes, it always says now to lightly grease the griddle, but I never do use any oil. And these new fans, uh, they just don't have the sticking problems huh. anymore. And, and in our day and age, we're told not to eat so much fat anyway, right? right. So <laughs> Well, it's still as good. All right, well, let's just see, give it a little stir you here. Learn, you learn something every time. And we're gonna time. pour it in. I hear it going shh yeah. a little bit. And, and Bart, I, I know. Now I usually I, just give it a shake like that, and it I, just levels it. Better. And I know you know this, but you really got to wait to get your pan hot. Oh, that's for sure. Yeah, uh, I had this up on the eight on the stove, yeah, and uh, about uh, two minutes, I think, in range. 
Uh, bring it back down to five. And you can see it's starting to bubble already. Yeah. One thing with a pancake, you get that bubble like that and uh, you see a little steam coming off. Okay. So you can see how the edge now has uh, yep, dried it... up around there. So let's just stick a in there and boom! Does that look good or what? Wow. <laughs> I like them golden brown like that, I'm especially with the potatoes in it. You need to cook it a little longer okay. than you would a regular uh, just straight pancake mixed pancake. The, the straight pancake mixed pancake will dry out more, and this one will not dry out because of the potato in it. And so wow. a little bit more time is, is definitely a plus. And now you see the steam escaping, and that's what you want to do. You want that potato to dry out a little bit in there. Some Sometimes I have to throw the first one away, but I'm putting my dibs in on this one. <laughs> okay, yes, yes, I know what you mean it about looks, the first one. Yeah, yes. When they say when the steam kind of stops, then that's when it's uh, okay. pretty well done. In yeah. there. And so in this case, we're, we're letting it stay there longer than we normally would on I, regular pancake. I, I know. Yeah, that's but the steam is still coming out a little bit, but it, I'm going to say it's time. And yes, it oh, is. It's nice just and nice and golden brown there. Boom, there we go. Wow. So now I always immediately throw in the next pancake. Yeah, because we can't let you eat alone. And, uh, all right. Here's the butter. All right. Let's go ahead and put a couple of pats on there. You always want to plan ahead with your butter, in my opinion, and let it sit out and get nice and soft so you can start running around on there real fast. And you can see that other pancake, it's getting a nice dry edge on it. So I think we'll probably just flip it over right now. Oh, perfection again. Now that one cooked a little faster, just because I bet you our pan's a little hot. Well, yes, our pan's hotter now. It did cook faster. We've got a second plate here, but why dirty that second plate? Let's just stack that okay. one on top of this one. We'll butter it up, and then we'll both eat off the same plate. What the heck? Okay. We have our own forks, right? <laughs> yes. Okay, yes. good. Let's see, we're hotter. Yeah, it looks good. Put that down there. All right, we'll take the pan off and turn that oven off. Or uh, top off, okay. We'll give it about three pats of butter again. That looks to be about the right proportion. All right. All right, here we go. Okay. Let's go try these guys out. I told you, I brought the forks All right. to the party. Well, I'll take so. one. Let's try that <laughs> out. Here, this fork, that'll... Move that butter around all the way. All right. So well, David, this take is a, my first cut there. My first sweet potato pancake. All right. Now watch them; it can burn your mouth because of the see how the steam's coming out. Yeah. The one thing that potato holds the heat more than you're used to with a regular pancake. So okay. don't burn your mouth today. You're right. That is a nice flavor to them too. How you like the texture? See with yes. your tongue and all. You know, it's just. Yeah. That little bit of potato in there just makes mm -hmm. a world of difference. It, it's it, it's a different flavor. It is. Although I got to taste. I got to confess. You're going to have to have some syrup. I got to confess. All right, buddy, pour it I, on. I, I'm a maple pour syrup on. guy. Pour it so on. So I loved it, but I'm going to put some here. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Well, I'm going to have to try some of your maple syrup, though. I can't resist that. Wow, these are really good, Bart. You can't eat just one of these. That maple syrup doesn't hurt at all. No, but, but <laughs> <laughs> so, wow, these are good. Mm -hmm. So anyway, Bart, I can't thank you enough for well, this. Well, thanks for having me um, on today. No, thank you for doing this. And uh, Breakfast is not for sissies. I will hope you come back again. <laughs> and anyway, thanks for joining us today. And, thanks, David. And, and I hope you'll try this out yourself. So, uh, but, Sweet potato pancakes. Bye for now.